the fact that Joseph Smith fraudulently mistranslated or, or made up a translation of Egyptian that was not even anything close to the actual translation, that he did that fraudulently is evidence against Mormonism being true. You understand that, right? Okay, you're going and saying that this is false and that's kind of your whole statement. Okay, there. we're going to take, we're, we're going to list the facts and evidence. The fact that Joseph Smith presented a fraudulent document that was shown to be false, that is not translated the way he said it was, that is a fact and evidence against Mormonism being true. Do you understand? Well, I disagree that? with. I disagree with that. Do you, Do you not know what facts and evidence mean? I don't believe that is a fact. Okay. You, you, you claiming believe, it a fact. You don't believe that is a fact. So you think... You claiming that it a are, fact doesn't make it so. You think that there are Egyptologists who can show that Joseph Smith translated the Book of Abraham correctly from the papyri and such that he was, that he was sent by that, that uh, okay. Egyptologist that I mentioned before. It wasn't a word-for-word -word translation. No one ever claimed that. It wasn't so. a word-for-word. -word. How, how okay. sparse was it? Okay. Was this there is, he any, looked at it any accuracy to his translation whatsoever at all? Okay, he looked at these things and then he wrote the the impressions that he got the and so that's what he did. Okay, it's so something it's an so act of revelation. Do you accept the fact that no Egyptologist supports this and that they can show how it, none of it was translated correctly? None of it. I don't speak on behalf of everyone like you claim to do. I am not. I'm not. I'm not on omnipotent. behalf of everyone. Yes, you are. Do you? No, yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't speak on behalf of all Egyptologists. When anytime you say, "Can you all show or one?" Any, never. Those are big. Show, absolute can you show words. me one? One Egyptologist who agrees with Joseph Smith's translation. I don't know any Egyptologist. There's no, so there's okay. not even one. You can't show even one. I don't know. I any. can show a list of the of people who object to it. You can't show one who supports it. Does that stand as a fact in evidence against Mormonism? Yeah, I don't know anyone, and so that's kind of so you have you, yeah. you have no foundation. It's all about belief. It's all about personal experience. It's all about your opinion. You can't distinguish Mormonism from any other faith. You don't want to diss any other faith. All you want to do is argue about Christianity. You can't show that there's any genetic data. There isn't any. You want to say that? Well, you, we haven't found it yet, but it's out there, hidden somewhere. There, but that's well, not. Look what at all I these said. big said, absolute claims that are too big for your mouth. There isn't anyone yeah, there, that's there speaking is, on behalf of all of the studies that have been done for for okay, human all the studies and that everybody, you are aware every population of. so far. There has not been one that shows Jewish ancestry in Native American people. As if far you as you argue are that aware. there's evidence that if you want to argue evidence for Mormonism. You should have you should point to the genetic evidence for Jewish ancestry among Native American people, but thus far, no one has found any. Can you at least as far as you that? are aware, as far as you are aware of the key term that you continually and leave I out. would know if they had, but you can't you can't show that there's any data at all to support your claim there. None. Okay. Yeah, you're just as far as you are aware. That's what you're. As far as hoping. you were aware, is there any data at all that supports your position? I have heard of that. I, I have heard of studies. Can you cite a that study for me? This. I cannot off the top of my head. I'm can sorry. you? Can you? Given time to do it later, can you? Can you go Google it and find a peer-reviewed study where there is perhaps I've, I've heard that there are parts of the Cherokee. I've I've heard there are parts of the Cherokee tribe. You've heard. That, Oh, that's got to be convincing. So that that's kind of that that uh, kind of contradicts I'm, your original opening called, statement, doesn't it? About personal experience, you don't trust somebody else's personal experience, but now it becomes what you've heard. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show trust, me your evidence, Kyle. I'm gonna trust my own study. If I were to go out there and personally DNA test them myself, then I'm gonna trust that more than I'm gonna trust someone else's, because that's something I've experienced and tested for myself. Because other people out there can fudge I the results, and you, people are, I didn't are, realize you did genetic studies yourself. If I did, I could, yeah, anyone can do so when you claim, you learn. when you claim that there is archaeological evidence, when you claim that there is genetic evidence, then you are claiming that there is peer-reviewed studies you can now source, you can link for me, that you can cite for me, and I can go look these up and read them and even and even test their results to some degree. That's That's what you're saying. 
but there, in fact, every every time you've said that this evidence exists, there is, as yet, so far as we know, no evidence to support you at all. There's not one study from anybody, any study anywhere, either for the, the city of 7 million people or for the, the Jewish ancestry of any tribe of Native Americans, for steel and the armor, or the steel armor on the battlefield, for, for horses that Native Americans are riding, none of that. There's not a scrap of evidence for any of it that you can point to. Is that correct? That you are aware of. I can say that. That you are aware of. You claimed it. You claimed several times that there is such. We've been, we've been finding this evidence all the time, but you can't show any of it. Can you? You don't need to yell at me, Kate. Okay? Relax. I don't like Relax. liars. You said you. So we're 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 we're, we're running in circles again. We're day. back at that other no. question again. So if you, I'd if like you find to all this uh, evidence all the time. Then you could to point question. to it, Shh. and Relax. you can't. Um, As anyone, let me just ask this point blank because I, I don't want you to twist it into something else that I didn't say. Has anyone ever found genetic data implying a Jewish or Semitic ancestry for any tribe of Native Americans ever? Okay. I can't point you to any specific studies at this time. You can't say that there's any evidence to support. There's no genetic evidence that you know of that supports that. Can you make that okay. admission? No, because I've heard of it. And so, but I can't point you to any so specific studies. So you're contradicting studies. the answer you just gave. That's so not now, contradicting. Now you've it. reversed your answer. So saying that you, you've heard. No, this has nothing to do with his question evidence. either. Okay. So you've, so you've heard that there is that evidence. There is evidence. I've I've heard of evidence, but I haven't really gone out and researched it for myself. Well, and I so think I'm it's time to go out and it. research that. And I want to do a follow-up on this, where I'm going to give you a month, and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to look at your channel, and I'm going to make a subsequent follow-up video to show whether you ever coughed up any of this evidence, and would you admit it, that you couldn't find any genetic data at all to support a Semitic ancestry for any tribe of Native Americans, North or South America, neither one. Okay. Okay. And if I don't then find it in a month? You would submit your data. You would submit the supportive evidence. And if you can't do that, then the, the response would be, you failed to show that there is a support, the, the, that there is a foundation for your belief system. You just said it's subjective impressions. That doesn't count. That's really honestly what the response would be. You, you were unable to sort to cite any archaeological evidence you were unable to cite any genetic evidence you were unable to 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 reconcile any of the contradictions any of the facts and evidence that joseph smith was convicted of fraud that he failed to that he falsely translated a book that we know was was done falsely you're just ignoring all the evidence against you but that doesn't work in a scientific debate 